Mm. All right, I want to start off by giving all praises. So this is part of them. All right, and I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, whom the world ignorantly called God through His Son, Yahweh Shah, whom the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit, through Rechakwadash. So call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, who taught us this truth through the Spirit. All right, and Shalom and to the Akim. That's pushing this gospel on the four corners of the earth, all right? In truth and in sincerity, man. Shalom. So as you can see on the screen, this is Sons of Thunder, all right? And this is, I believe his name is Joel, all right? And he the head of this Sons of Thunder count, and he learned from Zabak, all right? He learned some from GMS. He learned some from Zabak. So I guess he leaned more on Zabak, and he learned this breakdown from Zabak, man, all right? Like... Uh, and I want to say, man, there's nothing personal against these guys, man, because they pushing that the Israel vibration, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are Israelites, and they need to repent, all right? But they break down, some of their breakdowns are off, man, and the way they conduct themselves are off. Now, we focusing on this um, Mark of the Beast controversial topic. So to say that, to say that this ain't personal just, just for, for reproval, and correction because the Lord said warn the nation of Israel from my mouth man so the blood can be off your hands so you can warn the wicked from their wickedness man all right so this for whoever don't know uh Lord willing you are edified all right so let's continue to watch this video all right we're gonna watch the video you're gonna make some points all right and he point out GMS this is not to scoff against GMS because GMS is the only camp that's pushing Heavily, the vibration of the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. So he had to throw that disclaimer out there that this is not scoffing. And that's a shame to you other counts, man, that know the mark of the beast is the RFID chip and you're not pushing it, man. All right, so you can do these mashara, yasharala, so you can do these unity camps and get in your feelings and emotions. This truth and pushing this truth is not, as you guys know, man. It's not about truth and emotions. Just because you know you're an Israelite don't mean everything is all good. Yahweh Shah knew the scribes and the Pharisees were Israelite, but did he join with them under the banner of we are Israel? No, man. There's still correction and reproval, all right, and condemnation within the nation of Israel. That's how we always have conducted ourselves. So let's watch this video, all right? See, he playing games on semantics, man. But if the blind lead the blind, let them both fall in their ditch, man. That was that was bullcorn, man. I want to get through these points, and I want to get to the scriptures, so I'm gonna let him make his points. I'm gonna go to Revelation 13 and 16 and bring out the points that he made because he just said this believing in wickedness and so lot to do wickedness, whatever that means. All right, so lot to do wickedness. Okay, I guess that means you know that you're doing wickedness and you continue to do it, so you're sinning, you're sinning willfully. All right, you believe in the sin and you're performing the act. All right, and like he's gonna make the point if that's the case, like brother saying GMS, if that's the case, then everybody had the mark of the beast. And he said, No, that's not it because you're so lot to do wickedness. We was all we all believe that Esau way, the so called white man Esau, was the right way. We was all sold out to do wickedness, man. But through the spirit and power, Yahweh I was shot through his son. All right, through Yahweh, from Yahweh, through his son, we have been granted forgiveness of our sin, man. All right, we was all in that wicked way, man. All right, but we are being brought out. That's not the mark of the beast, man. All right, being being wicked, all right, believing in these different doctrines, 
If that's the case, we all had the mark of the beast, man. All right? Stop playing games. Okay, because the chip has been here, all right. Does that mean it's not the is not the uh, the mark of the beast? Is not the chip because it's been here? No, it does not, man. That's not no point to make. That's not a point to uh, uh, prove that the mark of the beast is not the RFID chip. Since the technology being here, it's in your car, it's in your phone, it's in your debit cards, all right. But it's not inside your skin yet. They going to put it in. We're going to let the scriptures speak, all right? We're going to get the scriptures on it. After we listen to uh, the brother Joel. No, brother. No, brother. The word is corrupt, which means to cut. Or make it insensitive. Or make it insensitive. Or make it insensitive. No, we not. No, we not. All right? We're going to get it. And he gonna go to Ezekiel 94 and say, ain't that spirit, ain't that Mark spiritual? Yes, it is spiritual. All right. When you look up that word right there in Ezekiel 94, it's Tawa in the Hebrew, which means exempt from judgment. How are you exempt from judgment? Through faith in Yahweh, which is the word, man. All right. But that's not the same case for Revelation 13 and 16. Okay. You reprobate, void of judgment, all right? So let's hear it, man. Stop, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's spiritual. That's having faith in the word right there. That's not the same case for revelation, man. All right. So we gonna get we gonna get this, man. Can he keep on saying it? Don't mean that. It don't mean that. It don't mean that. All right. It don't mean to cut. So let's get the scripture. All right. Let's get the scripture. And to understand what the mark of the beast is, you also have to understand who is the beast that's given out the mark. The beast is Esau and his power structure. All right. Starting with NATO, the EU, and America is a part of NATO that's controlling this whole beast system. All right. Let's go to uh, Revelation because he brought out Acts 17 and 28 to prove the point that Karagma is elsewhere in the New Testament. Of Okay, the water for that precept, but that does not negate that the word Karagma, I mean the word mark engraving go back to Karagma, which means to, in, to insert into, to graving, to cut. And we're going to get that. It means to cut. And he said it don't mean to cut. We're going to prove that it does mean to cut. All right. Revelation 13. <laughs> 13 and 16. He calls it all both small and great. The beast does. Esau is going to cause all small and great. From if you got a name to you don't got a name. A superstar to a nobody, a no-namer. All right. 
One has a high status in the world. One to you don't you never heard about them. All right. That average Joe Blow. It says rich and poor. Got money, ain't got money. Got wealth, ain't got wealth. A bum to a rough child. Free and bun. It ain't too many free people. I ain't the world. But if you're free, you're going to get the mark. And if you're a slave, which we most of us are, through these contracts we make just to make ends meet, free and bun. To receive a mark in their right hand and in their forehead. So he made the point of you believing in sin, all right, and you performing the act, all right? Sin is transgression of the law. So you believe that sin is the right way and you perform the act through your hand. That's no man, that's not spiritual. This is physical, all right. This is talking about uh let's get the word mark. Let's get the word mark. This word mark, as we all know, is karagma. All right. It's karagma. The strong information says a scratch or an etching. All right. I, a stamp, a badge of servitude. And that's what it is. When you get this mark, it's going to be a badge of servitude. You being a slave to the beast, to Esau. All right. You his servant. You consider Esau as your master when you take this mark, this badge. All right. This stamp of servitude. All right. It says, are a sculpted figure, a, st a statue and it's not a statue at this point. Or it could be. It could be likened to a statue or an idol. All right, the chip. Yes, it, it it can be likened to that. All right, it is an idol, a graven or a mark. All right, it says a stamp, an imprinted mark. All right, let's go down. It says thin carved sculpture, graven work. So let's go to the etymology online. All right, and let's look up this word graven or mark. All right. Let's see the internet when I act. It was just working fine on YouTube, man. That's Satan. All right. And number Satan. So like you bear with me. I guess the hot fire was coming out. It won't even let me go to the etymology on the on the on the internet. Let's see what we got going on here. See if we can go to another one because the uh, internet wanted to trip. Let's see uh, if we can go to another tab etymology online. There you go. See, that ain't nobody saying, man. All right, so let's go to uh, grave or uh, carve. Let's go to carve first. Carve. Said crave. Up, uh, up. Uh. Carving. All right. Carving the action of cutting, but it don't mean to cut, right? It don't mean to cut. Yes, it does mean to cut. A carving is a cutting. All right. What is an in um uh, uh imprint? What is an imprint? All right. It says imprinted mark, right? Imprint. When you go down, because the compound word, it says, uh, let's see where it started. Latin, imprint, 
to impress imprint from assimilated from in into all right in on upon into plus premier to pressed all right so it's going to be pressed into what your skin all right it's going to be impressed in your skin it's going to be carved in your skin all right let's look up another word he liked to use the word grave and the scripture used grave so let's see what grave grave is all right to engrave let's see it says to dig to dig up all right to dig to carve all right the cutting to go into all right your skin that chip is going to be inserted into your skin and how let's go to the second word all right of the greek of karagma all right g5482 and you can look this up on google all right what a uh a stake and what a palisade is that's that that iron needle all right that's going to be used to cut into your flesh so it's what corox corox all right it says to sharpen to a point through the idea of scratching all right that needle is sharpened into a point to where it goes into your flesh scratches into your flesh it's a stake it's likened into a, a stake it looked like a stake all right, a little metal pole, a palisade, a rampart. All right, going down, it says a pill, a stake, a palisade. So that needle that's carved into a point is going to have the, the microchip in it, and it's going to uh, karagma into your skin, man. Bruh, come on. Let's go to the third Greek word, all right, here. G1125, grapho. What does that sound like? A graph. What does graphs do? It tells numbers. All right. It outlines numbers. It gives you dates. It gives you points. All right. That's what Esau want to do. He want to keep track of every movement you make, every transaction you make. All right. He wants to play God on earth. This is his enterprise to have one world government, everybody under his control. And he's the God on earth, man. All right. You know, you can continue to watch that video, but Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And with that, I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah, all right? And through the Holy Spirit, the Rechach Wadash, all right? Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the Akim.